Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I am your reader, Jay. These are going to be general messages for the sign of Capricorn in June 2021. What is going on, Capricorn? How are you guys doing? I hope you all are doing well. Capricorn, welcome to June, wherever you are in the world. I hope you are safe, happy, healthy, and secure. Please continue to take very good care of yourselves and those that you know and love, all right? Uh, no announcements here in the month of June, so we will get right into it, guys. But first, anything you want from me, <laughs> a little bit, we'll get into it in just a moment. Uh, anything you want from me, it's in the description box below. Timestamp is down there. Information on how to purchase a personal reading with me is down there. And the link to my Instagram is down there if you want to give me a follow. I would appreciate. All right, guys, so and that's the start of your reading. We're going to expand on it a little bit later with the rest of the deck and talk about the bottom of the deck as your overall energy. But to start, you have... Ace of Pentacles, Magician in Reverse, and the Knight of Swords. Magician in Reverse, uh, Secondary Major for Virgo and Gemini, and then Air Sign, Ener Air Sign Energy with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be dealing with any of those signs or not at all. But, uh, I, it feels like somebody has taken bad advice or is ignoring their intuition or is feeling impulsive feeling possibly just self destructive or self-destructive thank you um and there's sort of like a no holds barred in the pursuit of something else or, or in the pursuit of a goal in the pursuit of a something tangible ace of pentacles yes um knight of swords feels very <sighs> aggressive at this time uh it's a normal thing but it feels like incredibly aggressive perhaps too aggressive um this could be somebody picking a fight when there isn't a fight to be picked this could be somebody throwing themselves um into a situation that they need not throw themselves into where more clarity is needed more pra more patience or practical ra reasoning is necessary or some other option you know this magician in the reverse is giving me this idea of ignoring options ignoring intuition ignoring advice ignoring the mm, possibly ignoring the potential to get the result without the aggressive behavior so this again could be someone picking a fight when a fight doesn't need to be picked this could be somebody creating an argument where there was no argument to be had yes uh, I don't necessarily think this is going to bode well for whoever is pursuing the goal of the Ace of Pentacles. Again, a knight, especially the Knight of Swords, is very much eager and, and dr has a driving force towards whatever they're, wherever they're going or towards whatever, towards whatever goal they have. Thank you. Um, and the thing about the Knight of Swords is he and i say he only because you know no gender the knight of swords can be rational if they want to you know air air energy to me is very much choice 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 i mean it's kind of indicative in everything that we do here on earth there's always free will there's always a choice to be made but it's kind of like sometimes air energy is a little impulsive and gets into this realm of, well, I'll just do it this way. It's the quickest way or because I feel like it, because I think this is right. And it kind of throws, quickly throws out all the other possibilities and, and focuses on one thing. Um, and again, like I'm getting the sense of like impulsivity. I'm getting the sense of someone says today, I will do, I will say this and then tomorrow it's the complete opposite it's a little disconcerting and i don't know i don't know and i don't know what it's concerning but it is disconcerting because the ace of pentacle to me feels very much quote unquote soft is coming through robust if and maybe that's why maybe because it's like so alluring could be an offer of money could be an opportunity to to meet with someone and, and strike a business deal it could be a gift it could be so many things there's sort of like this 
the impulse could be fear driven because magician in the reverse isn't necessarily about fear but again it doesn't like properly approach things it doesn't allow for a person to be weighed and measured it becomes very what information do I have right now? I'm going to act on the information I have now and I lack patience and it can be very self-serving energy. Thank you. It can be very self-serving energy. So you could have a person who's very ego based right now. Um, and again, the, the offer of the Ace of Pentacles, whatever it is, whomever's offering it, whenever it is, how much it is, I don't know, but that is like the driving force. A person over here, this Knight of Swords character, they are not to be stopped. I mean, I'm not telling you or anyone to not get in their way, but this is their mindset. I will not be stopped. Excuse me. I will not be stopped. I will not be dissuaded. I'm not going to be told no. That's the other thing. I'm feeling somebody here could be doing that, Take not taking no for an answer. Pushing past whatever this magician is, whether it's an internal thing or an external thing, in, uh, it could be an external person. I feel like the Knight of Swords is just like, boom, move, get out of my way. And that can be cool when a per depending on the situation. Maybe this is amazing that this person is being so tenacious. Maybe it's it's very charming or, or, or it shows that this person really wants the job, wants the opportunity, wants to make the business contract work. Great. But in other cases, if this is like, hey, I need some space, and, you know, maybe after, you know, a week or two, we could reconvene and come back together. This is someone who's like sending messages in the break time. Let's take a break from the project. Let's, you know, go to our separate corners or, you know, let's step away from this for a mo for a minute. And this person's like, OK, I'm ready. I I've stepped away for a day and now I'm ready to get back at it. So it's like it could go either way, you know. All right, so what else is going on here for Capricorn? Show me more regarding the situation for Capricorn, please. What else is happening in the situation? Give me further messages for Capricorn, please. Thank you. Yeah, there you are. Devil, major power for you guys, Capricorn. Oish. That's more than one, I know that. Oof, what's that, three? Oh my, that's four. We're not taking four. But let's look at them real quick to see if we got anything here. Three of Wands, Lovers, King of Wands, and then the Seven of Wands. That's all fire and air. So very masculine, very dynamic. It could be like someone seeks independence in a situation where other... And, and there's a connection or there's a... There's sort of a connectivity, like somebody wants to be separate when the situation, the circumstances or other people are trying to keep it together. Something like that is what that feels like. But again, that's four cards. We're not going to take that many. It's way too much. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, two more, please, for Capricorn. What else is going on in the situation? If they're important, any of those called cards will come back out. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Is that two cards? Yeah. Let me do it like that. Bottom of the deck is the overall energy. All right. So, Devil, that's you guys. Judgment, secondary major for Scorpio. Took me a second. I was blanking there for a second. And Queen of Swords. Okay. Air sign, again. You don't have to be dealing with any sign in particular. Take it all with a grain of salt. So, yeah. I feel like someone here, the offer could be that, like how we were discussing in those four cards. The offer could be an opportunity to quote unquote, get free in some type of way, be independent in some type of way, you know, go on a solo trip, you know, be assigned to something at work, your own project, your own, you know, department, head up this, head up this endeavor, you know, whatever. I feel the Knight of Swords doesn't want anybody else's approval or involvement but the situation around them is kind of keeping them tethered to something and the rush the, the rushing away or the rushing towards is still a concern as the outside person reading this energy 
I don't know that it's going to be incredibly bad or or even negative in any type of way. It might not, but I feel like it's it's very much a disregard. So maybe someone has hit their limit with something and that could be what's going on here. Like maybe the Knight of Swords has, you know, really been pushed to the limit and they're very reactionary. So maybe that's what I'm feeling is like how reactionary somebody is as opposed to being responsive, okay? Uh, devil judgment, devil judgment. I, for some, this is like, oh, okay. That's a, that's pretty specific, but you know, uh, I think it might play for maybe one of you. This could be about like a rehab or some type of program, right? In someone overcoming something, devil judgment, devil judgment, over, overcoming something, trying to make peace with the bad behaviors or, you know, addictions and impulses and obsessions that somebody has trying to put that to bed. And in order to do so, maybe there's a program, maybe there's an opportunity to work with a specific person that you can't let, you know, slip through your fingers. You know what I mean? Some of you, this is about the making a judgment call in a relationship. I don't know that it would necessarily mean a breakup. I don't know that it would necessarily mean mm, leaving behind the relationship, but it could be an evolution to it. Doesn't necessarily, I don't, I really don't feel it ending because similar to how I was just talking about addictions, there's still like this tethering energy here. There's still like this connectivity. And that's what they say in general about any type of addictions and or substance abuse, right? You are never fully free of the desire or the inclination or the impulse to indulge, to get high, to get drunk, to, to do whatever, right? It's always going to be in you, that impulse, that driver, and you have to consistently work, not against it, but work with it, you know what I mean? And kind of mm, be cognizant of your addiction, be cognizant that for the better part of your life, you will be facing your temptation on a regular basis, yes? Now, not a therapist, not a counselor, don't take any of that to the bank, don't take any of that as diagnoses or, or advice, but that sentiment of it's always going to be there, it's always going to be running in the background, it will tempt you on a regular basis, basis devil energy, temptation, and temptation leads to power dynamics leads to control and so i'm sensing that somebody seeks to have control in the situation but might not be going about doing it in the most sensible way with the magician in the reverse the magician in the reverse is really i wish it was in the upright because then i would see that somebody even if they're acting quickly they're 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 possibly going about i just i just feel like more needs to be done here. Maybe more research needs to be done. Again, more patience needs to be had here. And with the Queen of Swords, it's almost as if possibly, you know, again, I can do it on my own. There may be a connectivity between the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. And maybe the Queen of Swords is saying, hey, Knight of Swords, why don't you do it this way? It would be more logical. This makes more sense. This would be the more pragmatic way to go about something. And the Knight of Swords, you know, teenager energy, young adult energy, rebellious energy happens when we see the Knights. Is very much, I can do it. Don't tell me what to do. I can do it. So maybe that's a factor here in a dynamic between two, uh, two or more people. Or maybe it's a, 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 a even something that someone goes through internally on their own. I should do this. I should really, you know plot this out. I should really mind my P's and Q's or, and, you know, dot my I's and cross my, cross my T's and do all that stuff. And then another part of one person, the same person is saying, no, 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 we'll just go shoot from the hip. Let's just rush in and, and do what needs to be done and, and let that be the end of it or, or, and get things started or whatever. So again, that, ah, air energy, like I said before, it's like, again, Say you're going to do something one way today and then tomorrow you change your mind and you go the other way. 
So we could, mm, okay, we could be talking about a person who oscillates regularly. So this person could have a mood or behavioral disorder. It's not, again, not a diagnosis, not a counselor, I cannot, I have no authority to do so. But that is a possibility because, again, the residual thing with the devil. I don't know how this works. What I un generally understand is if you do suffer from mood and behavioral disorders, you might suffer from them or it, suffer. I hate using that word. But anyway, you might deal with that for the better part of your entire life, if not from start to finish, right? And so if you regularly have mood swings for whatever reason, to whatever degree or severity, it's kind of like you're never going to be free of that devil energy. You're tethered to it. If this is about more than one person, if this is about a, a relationship, huh, then it becomes something else, right? Feeling tethered to a person or a situation. Mm, I, you know, we could we could argue the specifics, but I, I think that is mm, whatever. It doesn't matter what I think. So, Queen of Swords, I feel, is is trying to bring sense and logic into the situation, but is also not going to hold the hand or sugarcoat things for the Knight of Swords or in the situation in general. This is somebody who says says what they mean or means what they say. Yeah, a straight, sh a sh mm, God, I can't talk, a straight shooter. This is somebody who doesn't hold back. So even if the advice comes from a place of caring, the delivery might not be so nice. So again, this could be that, and that could be why Knight of Swords energy, even though rebellious, even though related to this uh, teenager, very young and feisty energy, that could be why someone's like picking a fight. You always think you know better than me, Cheryl. You always think you know what's going on in my life, Brian. You don't know me. You know, it's like reactionary to somebody who's, you know, again, their their method or how they say the message, how they give the advice, how they give the critique is not necessarily, you know, <laughs> flowery, flower, flowery, right? So there's like this, you know, this is very like, you know, not to be totally on the face it's sort of like a parent child relationship you know the parent i'm not one but you know I've, I've got a pair myself um you know a lot of times can come with this air of i know what's best for you listen to me i'm your parent you do what i tell you to do you know and a knight of swords again rebellious energy is like just because you are my fill in the blank mother father brother husband wife whomever boss best friend i don't care president <laughs> or you know I mean, you know whatever <laughs> you can't tell me what to do because of your status you know I, I uh, whatever uh ace of swords is the overall energy so clarity i think would be amazing in the situation in this two aces here ace of pentacles and ace of swords so there's a lot of like new foundations, new opportunities afoot here to maybe understand things differently than we did before or conceive of them differently than we did before, communicate in a way that we haven't communicated before. Um, I think that's very vital. But again, Magician in the Reverse and the Knight of Swords, I just feel like those two energies and, and of course the residual issues with the Devil I just feel it's it's a lot easier said than done to have clarity, to be mm, accountable, they're saying, to be accountable. So somebody here lacks accountability because I did, I think I did mention that the Knight of Swords also could be running away. If, if I didn't say it, that was implied when I said ignoring intuition. When you ignore intuition, it's kind of a runaway move. Not always, but, it, you know, it can be. So someone doesn't want to see sense, doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions or their words, doesn't want to be, to have honest conversations, and they just want to react. They Someone mm, very late in the game might want to be playing victim, might want to blame others for their issues, and again, you know, I don't know why or what the specifics are, but it's kind of like that. 
So the communication is here to, to lay it out on the, on the table and, and, and be honest. But at the same time, it, it kind of feels like uh, it could be biting. It could be very um, scathing, this conversation or these, these words that are exchanged. Okay, Capricorn, that's your reading for June. If this reading resonated with you, hit the like button. Uh, drop a comment down below. Let me ha know how it resonated. I would love to read that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel before, please consider hitting that subscribe button now, friends. Come on. Join the party. <laughs> if you guys want to get a personal reading from me, you can find out how to do so in the description box below. Until then, friends, I thank you all so much for watching. Take care.